Ok, guys, I'm here today with João Gabriel Rocha, huge honor for me. Guys, João was one of my toughest opponents in my entire career. I competed him a lot of times. And uh, he has a very successful jiu-jitsu career. And now he's been like one of the best jiu-jitsu coaches in the country as well. Like uh, we were just talking today with Stefan Benza, for example. One of his students won double gold in the world as a brown belt, gi and no gi. And, uh, and he's just like building champions in Dallas, in Texas. And he just shot an entire structure all about takedown that leads to guard passings and guard passings. So today he's gonna show us here one of his favorites, which is one of, against one of my favorite moves. And I'm super excited to learn. Thanks for being here, John. Uh, thank you so much, Renato. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, so we are over here on the on the half web, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, Chuber had a lot of difficult for pass his uh, halfway, and uh, I never pass, right? <laughs> but uh, we, he have that position pretty strong with him when he passed the lapel between my legs with him, okay? Uh, I always try to pass uh, by knee coach uh, from that uh, side with him, but it's so hard to pass with him, uh, and that way, if he have the lapel with him, and also, uh, I cannot do the underhook. Then that's what like the the best thing that you can do in that position right here when the guy uh, have the half war, you have the underhook right here. But if you see, he have pretty tight right here. You cannot do anything right here, okay? Uh, and I think about one way that we can uh, do the underhook, you know? And uh, I found out that we can go to the inverse half war, all right? I just should put my hands on the mat right here. And I go to the inverse half word right here, boom. Uh, I the, the tail of that position, uh, I don't want to touch my butt on the mat right here. I don't want to do that. My my foot have to be between my butt and the mat, right? Uh, why now I open one little space right here between his arm and his body right here. I just put my hands on the mat, I post my hand on the mat and have a, a good base. I always open my hands, okay? Don't close your hands. Open your hands for you have a better base. And right now, you will come back, back and forth. You will come back, boom. Right now, I have right here the underhook. You see? Uh, right now, I have a like, few ways for to do, right? The one that I like most, I like to grab the belt right here, okay? And right now, let's move a little bit. Right now, look what I wanted to do with my knee. My knee is in that direction right here. I want to put my knee down, all right, and just slide between his uh, uh, legs, all right. But the 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 big things right here that I have to do is because I put my knee in the uh, uh, that direction right here, my hips kind of fall from his hips right now. He still can like bump me or something like that for recover the the guard and come back, right? The big things that I have to do right here. I have with that knee way here, there wasn't a, a, a half court. Come back to his hips. I have to do that. You know? Because if I be here, he can bump me or I'll be like kind of like one clock. You know, he follow me and, and I try to, to, to be out of that. I have to come back and lock his, his hips over there, right? One more time, Joel. Yeah, yeah. Starting the half guard. I'm gonna grab the lapel. Right. I grab the the arm way here, okay? Because if I don't grab the arm, when I move to there, he can grab under uh, uh, my leg way here. When I do that, he just should sweep me from there. Yeah, and don't right. let go there. Yep. Yeah. You know. That's why I grab the arm way here. Hands on the mat. I go to the inverse half guard. Right. It's tintini, I will open one little space right here. That uh, is enough, right, right now, is enough for I pass my hands, and right now I come back with my uh, leg over there, back and forth. Right here, when you want the, the, the inverse half work, you can be quicker, okay, guys? You don't have to stay in that position. You stay in that position just to put your hands between his arm and his body, and right now you come back. You come back, grab the belt, or if he doesn't have the belt, grab the pants, all right? Right now, I have to move the direction of my knee from there, and I just slide and pass 
and broke his grip off my lapel. This knee, I have to come back again to block his hips over there. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. So, guys, you always one of the best guard fasteners for the like the heavy, super heavy, ultra heavy weight division. So, especially if you are in one of those divisions, make sure to check his instructional. He has been winning everything in Jiu-Jitsu and he's just returning competing again. So I think you guys will see his name a lot in the next few months. And uh, thanks so much for being here, João. Thank you. Thank you. And guys, his structure is going to be at bjjfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And thank you, João. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you, guys. 2023 will be the year. Awesome. There you go. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.